Let's bring it down for landing. Down, come on. Oh, that wasn't good. Hey guys, Tom and Jordan here. This is the F11 Gim 2 from Ruko. Very nice controller. It's a GPS drone. The, look at look at look at the uh, camera. Isn't that cool? As I turn the drone, the camera stays level, and I can control the direction of the camera right here. So watch, watch this. Is the camera, see the camera going down? How cool is that? Watch this. Right. So I'm getting straight down. Now I'll go back up. <laughs> it's nice and smooth. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's neat. It's so beautiful. You almost don't want to unwrap it. You always want to put it on the shelf and just let it sit there and say, yes, look at my beautiful drone. But well, we got to unbox it. Let's take a look at here. And look at this. We have our link to download it right to our phone. Kind of cool. Let's go ahead and do that one time. All right, let's go ahead and connect the phone here. Place our link. Okay, go into the going and that's going to. There you go, install the Ruko app. All right, and let's go ahead and open this box up where that installs. Beautiful case, very solid, high quality feeling case here. Here's our drone. It's very stiff. And when it comes into place, it locks. Listen, that is something. All right, and our gimbal is covered. Undo the seal here. Very carefully, that slides out very carefully, okay? All right, and we have a cover over our camera. I'll keep it on for now. Battery comes off, very simple. Comes with two batteries, 2500 mEh batteries. Press and hold the battery and shows the charge. Three three quarters of the way charged. Hold it down. And the battery's turned off. New sensors underneath. That is something. Wow. It's very solid. I wonder if it's gonna hold my phone. No. Okay. Has room to hold a bigger phone. Let's turn this on. All right, battery's at 60%. This is a, this is a nice feeling remote. That's impressive. That is really impressive. Okay, quick start guide, good. That's a good thing. Good, I'm glad I have a quick start guide. I can just go ahead and get started flying right away. The, the instructions are quite detailed. And I'm actually quite impressed. I I'm, even tells you how to find your drone when it gets lost, how to find the last position and everything. So uh, even how to set your camera. So if your camera doesn't calibrate correctly, has that information in there as well, how to download your pictures. According to this, it's saying that um, it's best to download your video and photo right from the SD card, which I'm gonna be putting into my drone in just a second here, as opposed to having it go to your phone. The uh, compression will be better on your SD card versus having it go to your phone. So that's interesting. But yeah, it even has everything. It even tells me how to uh, start and stop the motors, which, you know, here, how to start the motors how to calibrate and everything. Extra blades, probably will screw into place. Okay, so these are gonna be screwing blades. As you can see here, no, we'll find out. Yeah, it looks like there's these screws. Probably have to screw them in. Cord, USB-C, and a, another USB-C. So we got two, good. We're gonna need it, because uh, the controller it's charged by USB-C. Feels good. Feels very solid. You can tell this is definitely not a toy. It's the real deal here. Look at that. Wow. Check out that gimbal. Oh wow, look at that. The gimbal's working. That is something. Look at that. Oh my. Isn't that incredible? Stay still no matter what I do. That's impressive. 
turn it off. And now the gimbal is no longer reacting. Let's go ahead and insert the card into the drone. It's a spring loaded, as you can see there. But I'm gonna put some tape over top because look, kind of pops out a little bit there. So if you have a good crash, that way I don't have to worry about the card popping out if it gets if anything happens. Press battery down for three seconds. One, two, three. There we go. Turn on my remote. And my remote says 93%. Hit it again and it comes on. To turn the remote off, press it, and then hit it again, and the remote should turn off. So you hit and then like that. All right, so I'm gonna hit the Ruco drone, I'm connecting, and it's gonna give me the option, do you wanna allow the switch? So just waiting for it to connect. Stay connected. Okay, and we should be connected. All right, we should be connected. All right, good, I guess that's it. All right, get back to my Ruco app, and I would imagine I should see the uh, information any moment now. I guess go to controls. Allow using while using the app. Allow. Allow. Okay. Oh, look. First flight video guide. Nice. Okay. The flight environment choice demo. So here's your demo for the uh, drone. 98 feet. Nice. All kinds of information here for you as you're getting ready to start. There are, I also noticed that when the app appears, there's lots of great options for um, how to. Oh wait, what, what was that? Okay. All right, so now I'm not gonna calibrate at the time. So I'm gonna fly indoors right now to turn off the GPS. I'm gonna hold down the speed button. And now it's adding mode. That means that, yep. And that means that I have now disenrolled the GPS and now I can fly indoors. It says uh, the controller is not connected to the drone. The drone turns to calibrate compass. So the, the drone wants to calibrate the compass. All right, fine. Let's go and calibrate it. Even though I have the uh, adding mode turned on. Okay, and I guess I go like this now. See how it's telling me what to do? So I'll go like this, turn it, and there we go. And that should, yep, yeah, there you go. It's back to normal. Nice, okay, there you go, that's, oh, look at that. Now, the camera will fix itself, okay? It's supposed to anyway. But now, see the SD card, how it needs, oh, see the camera just fixed itself? And so the line there tells us it's correct, good. SD card needs to be formatted, so I'll hit that. The current operation will delete all contents. Yes, go right ahead. And, ah, uh, card was formatted very nice and now I can take pictures okay good all right looks like the drone is ready let's see we got the white and blue lights on which means that we're ready so I have an addy mode so I should be able to take off yep there it goes So uh, it's flying, flying it indoors. I guess it's stable, although there is a delay while I'm flying indoors. Let's see if I can get to land though. Come back down, and it's not stopping. It'd be nice if it stops. So it took a long time to stop there. Let's try it again. Okay, and then press. It, it should stop when I push down. See? Right? Shouldn't it stop? If I do that, it's not doing it. Why is it? Uh, maybe I put the uh, put the antenna up, even though I'm indoors. Okay. Let's try that again. All right. Let's do it again. Here we go. Addy mode. Okay. And stop. Interesting. So it's not stopping. It should stop, in my opinion. I mean. Regardless of whether I'm outdoors or outdoors, when I put the uh, throttle down, it should stop, in my opinion, in my humble but most accurate opinion. And it's not stopping. So that's the first time I've seen that with any other drone before. I've never seen it before. Normally, if I hit stop. So hit stop once and then again. Okay, that's, that's just too, too long for it to stop. 
for emergency stop, you're gonna hold down this stop button and you hit it once and then you hit it again. So we're gonna go a little further so I'm not too far with fall. Here we go, ready? All right, and hit once and again. And it just falls. So there you go. All right. So that was the emergency stop. Now let's see if it stops this way. Still a delay though. In my opinion, that delay is just too long. Let's do it again. All right, fine, whatever. Fly inside the house again, up we go. All right, so I guess that's stable. It's, you know, I don't know. It flies okay. Let's bring it down for landing. Down, come on. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, got stuck there. Ooh. All right, well, let's go ahead and recalibrate, I guess. Let's see if it works. Hmm. All right, stop. Man, everything's open. All right, um, indoor flying, it's not as controllable as I would like it to be, personally. I should be able to stop it. Now, I brought, I got to stop just now when I did this. Let's do it one more time, though. Here we go, last time. It climbs up high there. It wants to climb up high. Good looking drone, though. See? Why is it taking so long to land? Okay. Um, I would prefer if it had a better controllability. Even though I'm flying indoors, I shouldn't have this much struggle flying indoors. All right, let's go outside and see how it does. So this is the Ruko F11 GIM2, GIM2. Watch the light here. So look at how it flashes, isn't that cool? I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. There we go. And here we go, ready? Is that recording? Okay. So the GPS for the Ruko F11 is turned on right now, and it's sitting still right there. That's impressive. Let's go ahead and bring it down a little bit there so I can get a picture of myself. And right now, the uh, camera is facing down, so I'm bringing the camera up. And there, I can see the camera. There it is, camera's up. I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of myself. So I'm gonna hit this little photo button right here. Here we go. Just took my picture. How cool is that? And it's saving the photograph to my phone and to the SD card. The drone is quiet. It's not that loud. Normally, it's pretty loud. That's actually fairly quiet, in my opinion. Nice. Nice and smooth. A lot of other reviews are saying that it's uh, pretty quick to respond. It responds. I don't think it's super quick, but it does respond. Let's change the speed. So this is slow speed right here. And we'll go to the side, nice and slow. This is like your camera speed. Nice casual speed there for flight. Nice speed there. Let's go a little faster. This is normal speed right here. The two, you hear that beep twice? All right, let's try, oh shoot. Let's go ahead and try it. Now this is the uh, faster speed. This is normal speed. Nice. Here it comes. That's normal speed there. All right. It's uh, got a nice size in the air there. Pretty nice size. All right, let's go ahead and try the, uh... oh, let's record myself one time. Let's go ahead and record myself. Here's my record button. Record myself. Nice, so I'm recording myself. And let's go ahead and put it on faster speed. All right, now this is the faster speed, speed three. And let's go ahead and try that a lot quicker. But not much. It's not that much faster. It's a big drone. This thing's got a size that's impressive. It's impressive. Alrighty, there you go. Alright. 
easy to catch. All right, so this is the Ruko F11 from, uh, this is the GIM2, Ruko F11 GIM2, guys. Let me know what you think. I'm Tommy Drone. In this video, we reviewed a lot of its features. I do have a part two coming up as well, so be sure to check that out. We're gonna look at additional features such as the return to home, and uh, we're gonna see how well that works. It has three different return to home features. Uh, return to home where um, you press the button, it'll come back to you. Return to home where you lose power, and return to home where you lose signal. So three various types of return to home. We're gonna try all three, see how they work. Let me know what you think of this drone, guys. So do it direct links below. I'm Tommy Drone. Thanks for watching my review of the Ruko F11 GIM2. Pretty nice drone, I liked it. Flies good, good video quality, good pictures. But let me know what you think. Is this a drone you'd buy? And what would you do with this drone? I love the fact that it has an incredibly far reaching range, which is really important. It has a max range of three kilometers, which is really impressive. Uh, I love the fact that if I'm on a boat somewhere, or I'm in a large open field, and I want to be able to take this drone out far, I can with that kind of radius, three kilometers. That's impressive. guys really cool drone oh, wow.